Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining me once again on my YouTube and Rumble channels today. Today is May the 22nd of 2023, and I'd like to share another letter from the Lord with you today. I hope you all had a great weekend and are anticipating a great week ahead of you. This is a reminder to subscribe to this channel if you have not already and to click the notification bell for notification of videos as they come out. Also, a thank you once again to all of you who are leaving comments on these videos and expressing your appreciation for them. Thank you for your support and may the Lord bless us all as we continue to look to Him and to hear what He wants to say to us in this day. The message the Lord is sending to us this morning is that He is hearing our prayers, that He is going to avenge His elect. Many of us have been hoping for a change a change in the world, in the way things are going on in the world, so that things would go back to what we considered normal. And though we may have put our hope in that and have expectations for the fulfillment of that hope, in this word today, the Lord is encouraging us that there will be change. However, He's not addressing the affairs of the world. He is telling us that he is delivering us out of the affairs of the world. And of course, as I'm preparing this word to send out, the Lord reminded me of his people coming out of Egypt. Things did not change for the better for them in Egypt. But the Lord intervened to deliver them out of Egypt. And so I hope as you hear this word today, you will be encouraged that the Lord is on the move, that he is bringing vengeance, and that he will deliver us out of the hands of the enemy. This word today is titled, I Will Avenge My Elect. As I journaled this word, a heartfelt prayer rose from within me, and so I will share that prayer that prompted this word coming forth, as well as scripture references. I'll begin. Let there be love shared among us. Let there be joy in our hearts. Lord, let the river roll, bringing justice to the nations. Lord, let the light of your lampstand burn brightly. Let every man, woman, and child come to you in complete abandonment. Let every shadow flee. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Bless his holy name. All heaven and earth rejoice in you, O Lord for you are high above. You are exalted high above all the earth. Your beauty and your glory are beyond measure, and you reign over all. Romans 12 verses 18 through 19. If it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. Do not take revenge, my dear friends, but leave room for God's wrath. For it is written, it is mine to avenge. I will repay, says the Lord. In this scripture passage from Romans, the Lord is telling us that he will avenge us from our enemies, that it is not our responsibility to avenge ourselves. Second Kings 17 verses 38 through 39. Do not forget the covenant I have made with you, 
do not worship other gods. Rather, worship the Lord your God. It is he who will deliver you from the hand of all your enemies. This scripture passage from the Old Testament highlights the Lord's affirmation to his people that he will deliver them from all their enemies. I'll begin reading this word. Let every voice join in to worship the Lord of hosts. Unite in harmony into a love song unto the Lord, for the Lord is coming. Your bridegroom soon will appear, and all pain and suffering will flee. For when he comes, he will roll back the darkness of the night, and a new day will dawn. Be patient, my children, for just a little longer, and we will be together forever. Just a little longer, and I will wipe away every tear. My love for you is great, and I will not leave you nor forsake you, but I will come. My bride is being prepared. She is almost ready for her bridegroom. As the river flows, the Spirit of the Lord is flowing throughout the land. The waters are waters of holiness, for in this day all men will turn from their wicked ways and be drawn into holiness. The flood of my Spirit is about to be released upon the land, and everyone will be encompassed by the waters. Everyone will see the Lord coming in this hour. Take heart, you who fear the Lord, for your God will avenge you. He sees every injustice done to you. He hears the cry of your heart to be avenged of the enemy, and he will come to you and justify your cause. He will come and take back the ground the enemy has stolen, for his mercy is great and his faithfulness is to the skies. He will turn your mourning into dancing. He will lift you up on the wing and take you up on high to be with him. He will rescue you from the hands of the wicked. His angels have charge over you, and they will gird you up so that you will not be harmed. I am coming, says the Lord. This is the day and this is the hour of the coming of the Son of Man into his temple. Those who long for his coming, who yearn for the bridegroom to come, will not be disappointed, for the Lord rewards those who seek him. My power is about to be released into the sons of God in fullness, and signs and wonders shall flow forth from them. This is the day when the righteous shall shine forth, and their brightness will outshine the sun. This is the day, and this is the hour. Behold, I stand at the door, and am about to come in. Open your heart to me and receive the fullness of the sun. Invite me to come. Call for the bridegroom. Call for him with all your being. For the spirit and the bride will say, Come, and he will appear. Hear, O oh hear, what the Spirit is saying. Walk the narrow way. Do not look to the left or to the right, but stay focused on the direction I have pointed you in. Do not fear the circumstances. Do not let them dictate to you, but keep in your heart everything that has been shown to you. In time, every word that has been sent to you will be fulfilled. There are hurdles along the way, but as you come to each one, take it on and do not give up. Do not flag in zeal, but press on, for the pathway has been laid out before you, and as you continue in the way, you will reach the mark.
The doors are opening before you, says the Lord. Do not premeditate what you will do from day to day, for you will be amazed at how quickly the doors fling open before you, and you will see it is nothing of yourself, but it is the work of my Spirit going before you, preparing the way. Faint not, fear not. For the Lord your God is coming to take his rightful place as Lord of heaven and earth. Those who are willing to be used of the Lord to bring the nations into repentance will be rewarded greatly. They shall rise up, mount up with wings as the eagle, and they shall glide with the Lord in the heavenlies. They shall not be harmed by the tribulation that is coming upon the earth, but they shall be lifted up and soar above it. Great stress will be upon the people, and great anxiety will be upon the whole earth, and the people shall mourn at the coming of the Lord. But those who have been prepared for this time will glide above it, says the Lord. As we can see in this word today, the Lord is encouraging us that he is delivering his people. However, it may not be in the way that we have expected to see it. The Lord has told us that this world is passing away, that he is bringing something new. And so in this word today, we can have a fuller understanding of what he is referring to. He is telling us that we will be lifted up and out of the tribulation, that he is coming as the bridegroom to take his bride to be with him. And so we will be lifted up and out of all the destruction that is coming upon the earth. The Lord is also encouraging us that we will function in signs and wonders, that we will shine like the sun, that he is coming to turn our mourning into dancing. The Lord is encouraging us that he will avenge us that he will deliver us from all of our enemies, that we don't have to fight this battle, but to only keep our eyes on him, our bridegroom, who is coming to take his bride to be with him. I hope this word today encourages all of you who are listening. The Lord is speaking loudly and clearly about his return and about his plan for his people. May we have the patience he is asking us to have for just a little longer, not to give up, but to wait for his appearance. May the Lord bless us all as we wait for him. May he give us his peace that we would not be anxious about the things going on in the world, but that we can be confident that our God will come and avenge us. Thank you for listening today. Have a great afternoon, and we'll talk to you again in the next video. Love and blessings in the name of the Lord. Bye for now.